What is up, folks? So I just got to my grandmother's. It's gorgeous out. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with her while my uncle runs to the store. And then I got a hair appointment to get my hair cut at 12. And then I will be probably going and taking some photos and um, chilling. I got some people that owe me money, but honestly, half of them are ducking me. So if it only costs me 20, 30, 40 bucks to get you out of my life and that's all I'm worth to you, then fuck it, keep it. You know what I mean? I'm not um, not desperate for anybody's friendship or attention or any of that shit. So fuck them all, folks. It's fucking gorgeous out, though. Look at me. I wish I had some more shorts, honestly. But I'm a broke ass nigga right now, so I have to do what I gotta do. Um, my uncle, I talked to my one uncle, the one that I was gonna go see today. I'm sorry, I might not make it over there. I'm gonna try and make it over there after my haircut for a little bit. Um, he has a CD that he's had since I guess I was born. Either it was the one that I, from when I was born or when my dad died. He put some money away for me and he said I could access it. So that'll definitely help um, incur the brunt of the legal fees and the fines and losing my job and all that shit. It's like, I don't know, like 1200 bucks I think. But every bit helps, especially 1200 bucks. For me, that's, you know, two weeks of work. So... If I stretch it and don't spend it and just use it for bills and the little bit that I need, you know, a couple more hundred, hundred or two more for my bike, um, I'll be able to finish it. That would really suck if I end up not having any money to finish the bike. That would, that would definitely, definitely fuck me up, but I think it would be all right. Plus, I got offers to do some work here and there, my uncle's house, my grandma's house. Um, concrete work with my brother-in-law, flooring work with my other boy, um, some work with Tuck, possibly a wedding coming up this month at some point, I think, right around the time I lose my license, so we'll see. What is up, YouTube? Just finished getting my hair cut. Um, I may be a fuck-up, but at least I'm not ugly, too, so I guess I got that going for me. Um, I'm on my way back to my house right now. I think I am going to get the camera and um, go somewhere and take some pictures. I really want to go down to Cape May and check it out and chill um, for a little while. Uh, maybe watch the sunset there tonight um, while I have time because, you know, um, I'm not, it's pretty far away. It's like a 45 minute drive to Cape May Point where they have really nice sunsets and the shipwreck and all that shit. Um, so I'd like to go enjoy it while I still can, um, because that's not an easy commute if you don't have a, a license, and, um, my friends have been flakes lately, um, so, I don't know when I'm gonna get down there again, to be honest with you, so that's where I'm headed, I'm gonna, um, head home and grab the camera, and, uh, we'll see you guys back in up, a YouTube, sorry, you're kinda getting, like, a two-day-in-one video, I didn't really do too much yesterday, I was gonna go over to my uncle's and all that, and, Things got messed up. I had to go hang with my grandma for a little bit and um, make sure she was good while my uncle went and went food shopping for her. She has sundowner. She's kind of losing it a little bit. Um, does some things that, like, falls a lot, doing things that she thinks she could still do. Um, so he likes to have someone there. So I stayed there with her, and then um, I went and got my hair cut. And then afterwards, I went and saw some friends. Um... And then I went to a, a friend of mine's house for a barbecue. Um, kind of got out there and, and was a little bit social, more social than I've been. Um, so I didn't really feel much. I was just kind of hanging and enjoying my friend's company. But uh, this morning I came in and I was working on the engine, torquing all the bolts to the specs that are in the um, book here. And... I snapped one of the sprocket bolts that goes into the cam. Um, sorry, the the bolts that hold the sprocket onto the camshaft, and I was crushed. I was like, "Fuck! I'm gonna have to get a new cam. I'm gonna have to do this. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm fucking." I was miserable to say the least. Pissed. Um, you know, I was like, I'm gonna have to wait days to get the parts that I'm gonna need, and then I was like, you know what, let me get an AutoZone real quick, see if I get a screw extractor and just try it. 
So I drilled it, drilled it, drilled it with a, um, a small drill bit. And then I took the screw extractor to it. And thank God, guys, I fucking got it. Um, wasn't fun. And I'll tell you what, that self-loathing that I felt for myself for doing this stupid shit and snapping it like that, um, really worked up appetite. So I'm going to go eat real quick, but that really fucking sucked, folks. I'm not going to lie, that really fucking sucked. So I'm going to go eat real All quick. Alright guys, so I'm back, I just ate a little something, um, I needed to change this bolt out, um. Or this uh, sprocket out. As you can see, this one is the new one. Um, it looks dirty because uh, my hands are filthy from this touching this one. But um, as you can see, the teeth, the difference is just night and day. Um, how worn these other old ones are. So I am going to put this new one on. Um, this thing has been giving me trouble. I was trying to get it off the other day. And it was just so locked in place from all the terrible... Um, build up of shit from it sitting for fucking 25 years so i'm gonna try and get this thing out and um put the new one on i'm gonna time lapse it because i'm not sure how quick it's gonna be it could be fast it could be slow but we'll see guys so it was battle of the fucking sprockets today um i had that issue with the camshaft one that i wanted to punch myself in the face um because i fucked up but i was able to rectify that thank god because i was stressing um but i realized that when i tried to show you the comparison of the new sprocket for the chain and the teeth that i got on um after i battled with this this guy right here um, I realized that my hand was in the way, so I'm going to show you guys now, um, look how much difference there is, a lot more meat on those teeth, um, I have the other sprocket in the chain that came that I will be putting on, um, as soon as I mount the engine again, I did want to take this time to, um, to shout out Eddie Allen Bastine, um, he's the guy that makes the beats for all my videos so whenever you see a time lapse with some music behind it um that's him thank you bro i appreciate it he's actually one of the first people that hit me up and asked me if i was going to make my own channel um and kind of you know it was the first person that really put it in my head that you know somebody would even be interested in watching me um so i appreciate you for that as well buddy thank you for uh thank you for definitely motivating me and um thank you for supplying my videos with some sweet beats to um kind of break up the the boringness of me fucking talking all the time. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that, um, you know, if any of you guys are interested in his stuff, um, I think I have his SoundCloud link still in the messages that he sent me. So I will put that in there. You should check out his beats. They're pretty sick. Right, guys, so that's going to probably be it for today. If I do anything else, I'll add it in here, but I don't see it. I'm just hanging out with my pups. This is Zion. And he's a goofball. And that's his dad, Ajax. Ajax looks like that because Zion's being a dickhead. Because he wants to be, wants all the attention. Watch, he's going to growl. <laughs> Yo, don't see you yell at your dad like that, you asshole. Jealous fuck, man. Jealous fuck. But uh, anyway, guys, have a good night. And um, like I said, if I do anything else, I'll videotape it. But don't count on it. See you later. He just follows something. I don't know what the fuck he's looking at. But he just follows it around the room. He's like staring at it. What you looking at, bud? That's weird. He usually always turns to me. What you looking at, his eye? But your ears all back like that. What the fuck are you looking at? You need. I swear my house is haunted. <laughs> Puppy. I had to get one more video of the snarling idiot. <laughs> All that talk, look at him, fucking big puppy. Big goofy puppy. Okay, <laughs> 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 see everybody. <laughs>